Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing another movie review. This movie is a horror film from the uh, United States, English language, released in the year 2019, directed by Richard Shepard, and this film is called The Perfection. So The Perfection is about music. You've got these uh, students who are very good at the cello, and this woman in particular was absolutely brilliant. She was known the world over as far as the, the music world is concerned, but then since then she'd had to leave the music world to care for her dying mother. And so she has died at this particular moment, and now she's coming back into the music world. So she goes to the school that she was once part of and she meets the new star of the cello world that she quickly develops a bond with and that bond soon turns into a relationship and so they end up loving each other and they basically play the music to soothe their souls but unfortunately there is something behind this school that's going to really complicate matters and the two lovebirds are actually going to turn into competitors and maybe it's going to cost them their lives and so whether it does it's something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on the perfection. If you thought that that rundown was very vague, I did that for a very good reason, and that reason is the less you know about this movie, the better, because this is one hell of a roller coaster of a horror film, and I believe that this movie matches the hype that it had surrounding it. Now this is a Netflix horror film, and Netflix horror films are hit and miss. Some are very good, and some are very bad. And so I didn't really know what to expect. I know better, as I said time and time again, to judge a film based on hype. But I was, I saw the trailer, and I thought to myself, this looks very good. And I will say that the hype was matched. I believe that this is an expertly crafted film by the director. There's a lot of fun had by the, the the actors who are betraying their characters. It's a larger than life experience, but it's an experience that never feels like it loses control. There's a lot of ideas in this movie. There's a lot of twists and turns, but those twists and turns are there for a very solid reason, and that reason is to give you a false sense of security. When you know, you think you know, and you can predict what's going to happen, the director completely pulls the rug from under you, and you're left in a different direction. You're left very disorientated. And then when you start to catch it again, and you start to think, okay, I know where this director's going, there's another twist that completely takes you off guard. So the disorientation in this movie is sustained in a level where you're never quite sure what's behind the door. And the director is giving you that false sense of security. He's giving you predictable moments, but he's turning it on its head. And it's just, basically, it leaves you wanting more. And you think to yourself, this is an incredibly entertaining horror film. And it's a horror film that doesn't come along very often. As I said, a lot of these movies, they are recycled. They have been done before. But Richard uh, Shepard does a great job at actually giving you something that you can really enjoy because it feels like that the, everyone involved in this film is having a lot of fun doing it, but they're also doing it in a way where I felt as though the, the, the competency level was very, very high. And so the acting I thought was very good. I thought the relationship between the two main characters was fantastic because then all of a sudden, when the twists and turns start to happen, I never was quite sure who to root for, who was the good guy, who was the bad guys, because there's all these moments happening where you get a, a grip on what's going on, but then all of a sudden all bets are off and there's a new uh, circumstance that comes into the mix. And and so it's basically playing with you. He's the puppeteer and you're the puppet. And he's playing you along and that's not something you get very often in the horror world. The cinematography is excellent. It's a very surreal film. It's a very funny film. But at the same time, a deeply unsettling movie. This is a very disturbing theme that it depicts that I'm not going to give away. There's also some moments of very sickening, disgusting... Uh, I'm not really going to tell you what happens, but it is quite disgusting. It made me feel sick. And it's also quite brutal. Very nasty film. But there's always that sense that it's a very fun movie. Movie. It's an entertaining movie. This is not a Gaspar Noya film that's going to have you down in the dumps for weeks after. This is a movie that you're really enjoying it and you're really shocked at what this director is throwing at you. So basically the whole film, the best thing about this movie is the unpredictability. Is that this is just a runaway roller coaster. You're bracing for impact but you don't know when the impact is going to occur. And that has to be applauded. That has to be encouraged because not enough directors do this. Is because I believe that the horror genre is used in a very lazy way. It's just cash grab. It's just have a found footage horror film or have a slasher movie, stuff that's been done time and time again. But when Richard Shepard comes along, he makes a movie that completely disorientates the viewer, and this is something that I treasure, as I really like these kinds of directors who are trying something a little bit different. There is, uh, as I said, there's a very black style of humour to this movie. It's a very wicked film, so if that's your kind of thing, I would highly recommend it. I thought the runtime was fantastic. As I said, there's a lot of ideas, but the runtime was perfect because those ideas are allowed to be expanded upon where I felt as though it exhausted all of its uh, options. All of its ability is absor uh, absorbed into the viewer, and just when you think it's exhausting its 
minutes off, a new idea comes on, and it just snowballs from there. And I felt as though it never really outstays its welcome. The continuity of the film is fantastic, very fluent film, and I thought the ending was absolutely fantastic. And so it's a movie that's going to shock a lot of people because it is as good as a lot of people are saying it is. Uh, as I said, the acting was fantastic, the direction, the script, it was all very, very impressive, and it's a movie that I wasn't expecting to like as much as I did. If this sounds like your kind of thing, definitely go out there and see it. Really uh, yeah, support these styles, uh, yeah, this type of director who was actually trying something new. I actually felt as though he loves the genre and he just creates something that is going to really sustain that curiosity. And because you're completely disorientated all the time, it just feels as though you're in for an experience. And so if it sounds like your kind of thing, I definitely recommend you check out The Perfection. It's a crazy film, but it's a movie done with a lot of ability, and therefore I can see a lot of people come away from this movie very, very satisfied. So overall, for The Perfection, I'm going to give this one four stars. Go out there and see it. I really enjoyed it. All right, guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, thank you for watching movies, and I'll see you later. Bye.